DIY fan? Watch this video to find a lot of creative ideas for your coolest DIY projects. We've got a lot of stuff to take to school. Let's make a cute pencil case looking like a lip-shaped makeup organizer. We'll need glossy bold red fabric. Draw a 10 inch line on the wrong side. Mark the center. Mark up and down marks on the same level. Draw thick lips. Start with the center of the double curve to the right and left of the upper lip. Outline the lower lip. Make it thicker. Add a half inch allowance with the dashed line. Cut it out. Make another of the same detail. Just trace the cutout. We'll install a zipper on one side. We've taken an 8 inch white and gold zipper. Mark the zipper ends. Cut down, making T shaped cuts at the ends. Apply hot glue across the edge in small pieces. Fold the edge to adhere. We've got a neat square slit. Let's install the zipper. Hot glue the small portions starting from the end. Perfect! The zipper is duly installed. The material is smooth. The zipper opens and closes well. Let's join the front and back inside out. Take a needle and red thread and sew them down. Stitch across the lip line. When ready, turn it inside out. Smooth the lips, especially across the stitch. We've got a gorgeous scarlet glossy lip cosmetic bag. Oh, no, it's a pencil case. Yeah, you'll definitely be the center of attention in your class with this awesome lip-shaped pencil case. Do you need to draw a circle but misplaced your compass? Keep your pencil sharp. Listen to your teacher to learn good old methods of how to make compasses from the available materials. Take two pencils and a paper clip to draw a small circle. Unfold the paper clip, place it on the paper. Put the pencil tips inside the clip curves. Hold one pencil in the center. Draw a circle with the other. The clip helps keep an equal distance between the pencils, creating a smooth circle. There's another clever life hack to do without compasses. Use three pencils at once. Shape a letter A using pencils. Fasten it with rubber bands. Hold one pencil in the center. Rotate the paper. The second pencil draws a circle. This hack allows drawing any circle within a notebook page. So you can get a smooth circle even if you've left your compasses at home. Thank you for the nice advice, Miss Smith. My dear teacher doesn't like these wavy lines on my drawing. What can I do if the only ruler in class is her punishment tool? However, my friend has a life hack. Repeat a scale ruler on a piece of paper. Cut it out. Tape it to a pen barrel. Snip off the excess tape. Use this pen instead of a ruler. My friend gives me her pen. I mean, her ruler. It doesn't matter much since I can use it for drawing straight lines. My friends brought a new DIY notebook. Wow, what a beautiful soft cover. I want to see for myself. Otherwise, I could get envious and turn the same color as her new accessory. We'll need a notebook and a piece of red velvet. Place the open notebook onto the wrong side of the fabric. Mark the corners using a fabric marker. Define the spine. Cut out the shape with an allowance. Make cuts for the spine. Snip off the sectors towards the corners. Place the notebook on the fabric. Hot glue the velvet to the cover. Press well to let the fabric attach. Apply hot glue to the spine flap. Tuck it inside the notebook using a sharp stick. Measure out a piece of rubber band to fasten the notebook. Hot glue to the back side of the cover. Hide the attachment place with a piece of fabric. Shut the notebook and put on the rubber band. This soft accessory looks gorgeous, unlike my plain notebook. I do like the one my friend has. 
I'm going to do the same at home for myself. Look, your friend's got new characters in her book. What cute little bookmarks. I wish I could pet these little toy animals. Draw two parallel lines. Outline two hind paws on the bottom and two front ones on top. Draw a round face. Cut it out. Make cuts for the paws. Cut out the muzzle and the eyes. Erase the pencil. Make a few bookmarks depicting different animals. They're not just bookmarks. They're knowledge guards holding pages in their little paws. They're real cuties. I've lost my marker cap again. Where does it hide all the time? I wish I could hide from Miss Smith in the same way. Meanwhile, she notices my looking for the cap status and gives me her invention. Hot glue a piece of thick thread cord to the cap. Attach the other end to the plug. Be sure the thread is of a sufficient length. When dry, paint the glue with nail polish. It's a great idea! I think Miss Smith uses this cap as a swinging hypnotic pendulum in her classes. Now look and listen. When I count to three, you'll remember everything you should. You can hang the marker somewhere or use it as a new accessory. And now we continue making fabulous DIY school supplies. Let's make amusing origami bookmarks. Make a yellow 5 inch by 5 inch square. Fold the diagonal to make a triangle. Fold the corners to the center point. Open up the triangle. Fold the top flap to the middle of the crease. Take the right corner and tuck it into the middle pocket. Repeat for the other side. Make the identical gray detail. Decorate the yellow bookmark with the patterned paper. Trace, cut out, and attach. Embellish the gray bookmark with the green paper. Glue it inside. Cut out a white stripe. Draw pointy monster teeth and attach. Cut out green eyes. Glue them together with white parts. Define the pupils. Just attach your pretty monster on the corner of the page you want to save and it will keep holding it tightly in its sharp teeth. Do you like drawing in the margins? Then you definitely need this creative notebook cover. Make stress relieving covers to put on your notebooks. Choose a cover you like and print it out. Glue it on your notebook. Keep in mind the back. You can shade the covers with your color pencils and feel your stress fade away. These amazing covers work as stress relievers and beat your boredom when you are in class. Have you got a bad mark? Let's try to remove it. Rub a candle against the paper around your bad mark. Thus, it won't be damaged while removing the mark. Attach a piece of masking tape. Trace the mark with a dull pencil. Press it well. Peel off the tape. If you don't manage to remove the mark at once, try it again. This time, trace only the mark left over. Perfect! Smooth the paper with the candle. Even if you get a bad mark again, just scratch it to remove the mark with a wax coat. But the most reliable way to escape a bad mark is to study hard, and it's far more rewarding. You're just back to school, so you haven't remembered your schedule yet. Rely on your phone. Go into your phone settings. Press Set up a new wallpaper. Choose your schedule picture and zoom in on it. Set it as a wallpaper on your screen. The simple trick will let you always be on time for your classes. And you won't have to lose time on looking for the picture of your schedule in your phone gallery. Do you want to write or draw on color paper with a marker? 
use this life hack to make it unusual. Dip a marker into bleach. Write or draw on color paper. When the bleach starts working, your drawing turns visible. You'll get a different result each time as the bleach changes both the color of the marker and of the paper. Do you hate taking a lunchbox with you? Take your snack in these funny little bags. Walnuts and chocolate are perfect snacks for school. Put them into Ziploc bags. Chocolate can cheer you up and stimulate your mental activity. Walnuts are extremely rich in vitamins, minerals, and other good stuff used in a healthy diet. Take one and enjoy your school day. Draw funny faces on each bag that will make your day. Trust us, these tasty snacks won't keep long in your backpack. Just look at the smiling chocolate or funny walnuts. Get a snack and study hard. Subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and click the bell. Watch our videos together with your friends.